this is this is not good for the country what's happening here because it isn't i don't think full-fledged legitimate it's not based on real world grievance it's grievance that's being amplified and made up and the president if you ask me could do a lot to stop this by telling people to respect the criminal justice system there's nothing here that's that's designed as they would have you believe to purposely get it wrong to purposely screw people it's not the case all right folks so welcome to give me five the one and only rush limbaugh doing one of his rare interviews uh, this time with fox news sunday this uh, past sunday and chris wallace and you know he's so right the president has it within his power to quell the situation to a great extent so does eric holder the two most powerful men in the country who are black could stand next to each other and say hey calm down respect the police first of all don't hit a police officer ever second of all mainly the police are there to do their job and protect you and they save thousands of lives every day including black lives but no those words will never come out of the mouths of these people never never here's more this is an american problem when anybody in this country is not being treated equally under the law that's a problem and it's my job as president to help solve it our police are here to protect us and we honor that and at the same time there's a history we have to overcome because for so many of our young people there's a fear and for so many of our families there's a fear all right rush responds to that i don't think that the that things are rosy and perfect in America, but to say that they're no better, as the, as, the, as the mayor of New York said, it's absurd. We've made all kinds of efforts to improve race relations in this country. The 1964 Civil Rights Act, affirmative action, we have been over backwards. Is it all perfect? No, it's not. But there's no acknowledgement of any of the progress. Chris, every, if, if you listen to these people, the president, the mayor of New York, you would think it's 200 years ago. You would think we haven't even started working on these problems, and that's not true. Of course it's not true. It's outrageous. It's just outrageous that men in their position, that the mayor of New York stands there and says he's afraid his black son will be killed by NYPD as he knows that NYPD are guarding his son. This is an outrage. It's done to incite, inflame, enrage. That's what they're all about. That's what leftist Marxists are all about. And Bill de Blasio, if that's his latest name, uh, that's what he's all about, certainly. Here's more. And I think for the president to promote this division, as he just did in that clip that you said, and, and mischaracterize what happened here. He's talking in large part about Ferguson, and what he described did not happen in Ferguson. And what most of the media is describing did not happen in Ferguson, Missouri. There was no hands up, don't shoot. It didn't happen. And that's tearing this country apart. We have people to whom the truth is relative and they're using whatever power they have to try to redefine the truth for the advancement of their own political agenda and it's just not productive and the president taking sides in this in a way that further divides the country i find reprehensible Let's and very unfortunate to Let's absolutely and very very dangerous as well now chris wallace uh, in his lightning round um asked uh, rush limbaugh about hillary clinton and 2016 and here's uh, how that went. Hillary Clinton, right. how worried should Republicans be about Hillary Clinton as the Democratic, potential Democratic nominee in 2016? Not very, she can't sell a book, she can't fill an auditorium, the hype finally is over. The hype finally is over. Then he said, hey, that's, it. that's all, that was quick. He said, well, you said it was a lightning round. <laughs> All right, then he asked him about what uh, Rush said about Barack Obama in 2009. He called Obama a man-child, and he wants to know if he takes any of that back. Uh, here's how that went. Barack Obama, when we last talked, I was looking at our interview from 2009. You called him a man-child who doesn't care yeah. about the country. Do you want to take any of that back? Right. No, I think everything I told you 2009 has been validated. All of this that, was been, uh, that has happened has happened on purpose. It's been his strategy. It's been his agenda. And it's, he's well into it, Chris. I mean, there's nobody stopping him. Everything he wants is pretty much getting done. Absolutely. Those who think Barack Obama is an idiot, he's stupid, he's naive, he knows. How many times have I said the same thing? He knows exactly what he's doing. None of this is by accident. Keep that in mind. Your Newsmax Now update is not by accident either, and it's next.